Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Mike Moliterno. Welcome to the TGIF Report. Today, we are going to talk about business. Run, run, get the money, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. And what I mean by that is we are gonna talk about several ways that you can grow your business, and we're gonna do that by checking out some of the latest content in our business strategy section. In our Stop Talking, Start Doing segment with 898 Marketing, we hear from three of the firm's interns who offer several tips to help your company improve the intern experience and really leverage their abilities. A business owner should be expecting to have somebody that's going to get work done for them. I know there's a stereotypical intern where they just run and get coffee and mail, but giving them responsibility so that when they do go in the workforce someday, like they can always look back and reflect on the experience that they had at the company that they interned for. Another way to grow your business is to outsource certain tasks, particularly repetitive tasks or tasks that require specific knowledge such as IT support. But Alex Bohr of White Glove Payroll says there is one type of task you should never outsource. And that's customer service. It's ironic that many business owners will spend money on sales and marketing design to find new customers, but then when it comes to direct conversation, those same businesses will leave those interactions to strangers. You can hear more from Bohr in the Gloves Off Ownership series under the Business Strategies tab. Maybe you're trying to grow your business with a new promotion, but for some reason or another, your landing page isn't delivering the conversions you were hoping for. Over in our Game Plan for Growth series, Rob Palowitz, president of Palo Creative, says the problem could lie with your call to action. The best CTAs captivate audiences and provide educational value and a sense of urgency to increase conversions. Unfortunately, CTAs may be looked upon as an afterthought and not receive the time, energy, and attention they deserve. And finally, with the new year come new laws and regulations, including the SECURE Act, which is now in effect. Thankfully, Ryan Glynn of W3 Wealth Management is here to explain what the new law means for small business owners. I think we should first start with required minimum distributions. Good news is they were pushed back from age 70 and a half to age 72. You can hear more from Glenn in our Cautious Investor series, and you can find that under the Business Strategies tab at businessjournaldaily.com. That is all for this week's TGIF report. I'm Mike Moliterno. See you next Friday. 717 Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. 717 Credit Union, we're a local business too.